Good morning, it's Tuesday today. It's quite early in the morning. What time is it? It's 20 past seven. That's early for me anyway. <laughs> Why on earth am I up at this ungodly hour? You may be wondering. Well, it's the second day of term really, as he started back at college yesterday. But today she's got her dermatology appointment at the hospital. So we are getting ourselves up and we're gonna get on two buses and get ourselves off to the hospital for that today. We're gonna to start our day off with a lateral flow test each. Lovely. Well, you know how it is. I've done quite a lot of mixing over the weekend and so has Isabel because she's been doing group stuff for two days as well. Just opened a new kit up and we're apparently missing these bits. You know, the little bit with the liquid in. This is one left over from the last kit because for some reason there was one of these missing in the last kit. So I had one of these and a swab and a test left over. But this one doesn't have those at all. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? There we are, off it goes, up the strip. Oh look, I was just tidying these away now and they were in there. Okay, we're saved, good. My morning routine at the moment is put the coffee pot on and then go and get beans. Right, there's three. <laughs> My beans have really suddenly gone. <laughs> this whole washing line is just dripping with beany goodness. That is amazing. They are just everywhere. And the courgettes are not looking happy. Look, they're just blah. They dried out a lot, I'm afraid, over the weekend and they're still recovering. But they're still flowering, look. Anyway, right, enough of this. I'm just gonna water these quickly. Although that said, that sopping wet still, that doesn't need doing. Okay, I'm just gonna pick some beans then in that case and then come in. It's amazing weather, by the way. I mean, look, I'm out in my, just a vest really, and pajama bottoms, fluffy pajama bottoms. Um, but I'm not cold, it's absolutely beautiful. Bit of a heat wave yesterday again, as he was a bit overheated on her first college day. It went well, she said. Yeah, she still doesn't have a timetable, but she does know what days of the week she's in, and she's in four days a week. Same as last year, and the same four days as well. We're inching forward, she just needs a timetable now. Well, I didn't go hunting far and wide for them, but this is today's offering that was like really noticeable hanging off the bush. Uh, I'll go and get some more later. join Isabel she's sitting down over there we've got about 18 minutes until our bus is due this lovely seating area and there's a kiosk over there as well looks like it's got pastry sandwiches drinks coffee tea and around the other side there's a little cafe as well some other sort of thing oh lovely Let's sit by here I'm loving sitting here in this new station because it makes me feel like I'm doing a bit of foreign travel. Um, well, our bus just came and I wandered over to it and then it, it went, um, but that's early, so maybe it was the one before. I've been sitting here making the most of the time to respond to some YouTube comments and I suddenly realised that my backside was getting <coughs> devilishly itchy and I've realised that if you sit right <coughs> on the edge here, this is kind of stepped up. Have a look at the ones on the other side, look. You see, they step up like a very shallow staircase and I didn't realise and it's, oh, it's, it's made me itchy now. <laughs> you know, like the itching you get when you've got constriction rings on your socks, that kind of itching. Oh dear. It is 18 minutes past now, which is when our bus is due, but there's no sign of it. I think that one that came before was like really late from the time before because it shot off before we could get on it. Oh dear. Right, well, presumably this one's late now as well then. <laughs> We've been waiting here ages now, haven't we, Izzy? 
Izzy's been on it, she's been keeping an eye on the electronic display board, apparently it's due at 38 minutes past now, should have been 18, so we are likely to be late for our appointment, but to be honest, normally you check in and you wait for up to an hour before you get seen anyway, so I'm not expecting it to be a problem, I think we'll just have to turn up when we can, but yeah, it's due now in three minutes. Oh, before I forget, um, I mean, mean to tell you that Izzy and I are going to go shoe shopping for some new shoes for her when we come out of the hospital and we get back to Merthyr again. Bus is now running 40 minutes late and I've just rung the hospital and explained and they're going to pass the message on and hopefully keep our slot for us. But, you know, everyone's got their own allocated time. It would have got us there early. Uh, but it's not now. <laughs> I got hungry. I had to buy myself a roll for £2.50 from the kiosk. It's been sat here so long, my breakfast's gone down now. We should be in our appointment and coming out and then getting lunch soon, you know. It's disappeared off the board, so we presume we've got to wait yet another 20 minutes for the next one. Hello. To, the to the hospital, please. Finally on. I took one bite of that roll and that just magicked the bus up. <laughs> That's obviously what you've got to do, start eating and then it will appear. Oh, it's been epic already and we haven't even got there yet. Humming pigeons, I think. Flying round and round in circles. Yeah. waiting room and they are gonna see us Yay. we are leaving with a green prescription for the chemist and uh, yeah we're off to Merthyr town now we're gonna go to the McDonald's for lunch I think is that what you want yeah, yeah. and I've got my mask off for two seconds it's been on since 8 30 a.m. and it is now 12.05 so nice to feel a bit of air around the face <sighs> yeah we had to wait a long time to be seen, but eventually got seen. Yeah. Right, station, yeah. please. It's already been stamped. Hey. Yeah, I can't accept that. No, you're joking me. No. Well, you did it when we got on before. I had a bit of a hoo car then with my ticket. It's been stamped, you see, on the way out, even though it's a return, apparently. That means it makes it void, but the guy's examined the time on it and accepted my version of events. He said, really, it shouldn't accept it because it's void today. He said, if it happens again, don't let the driver stamp it. But apparently, there's quite a few new staff. I've had some here, say, for another passenger. There's a lot of new drivers starting, so must have been a rookie error. <laughs> I think Isabel is starving now, but I'm not so much because I had that cheese roll, but I could definitely eat some lunch now. It's hot today, we've got a heat wave, it's 26 degrees again. That's a heat wave in the UK. Station again, look. It's getting rooted down in there, really. <laughs> On a short walk from the bus station and now we're arriving at Kavartha Retail Park woohoo which has got a McDonald's in it and places where we can hopefully buy shoes for Izzy afterwards we're here look there's the golden arches and over there we've got Trago Mills which I've never been to oops <laughs> that's just me falling down a ramp while a mother and son eating a McDonald's in the car saw me doing it <laughs> I was trying to film over the top of their car uh, yeah I, I don't know how to get there on foot actually I need to look it up I don't think we'll go today it's here we're actually eating in because it's really hot out there and actually we just need to cool down a bit it's starving actually and there's the view not that exciting I'm having a fillet of fish and fries and a coffee and I'm very tempted to have a McFlurry afterwards because I don't know 
just feels like a special occasion. But I don't know why, because we just had a hospital appointment. It wasn't that special. Probably because my daughter is with me, and this is a bit rare these days, actually. Out of the house, anyway. We've McDonald's, and now we're trying to find Matala, and I think it's straight ahead. There it is. Wish us luck. I'm hoping that we'll just do this in one shop and be able to go straight home because I've got stuff to do. But if not, we'll be rummaging around the shops for a bit. It's huge. Yeah? They what? A Claire's. Oh, a Claire's section. Oh, ooh, sorry. I'm trying to get my hat off. There's a Claire's section, yeah, as Izzy points out. I don't know what's going on with my hat. Look, the thing is, I've put an elastic thing on it. This is the same elastic that's on the masks because it is mask elastic. And now I'm struggling to get it off once I've got my mask on. Help, it's all going wrong. Ugh, oh, it's still tight. Right, that was more long-winded than it needed to be. Right, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a mask in a shop, the rules here in Wales are different from the ones in England. In England, you don't have to wear face coverings in shops, but in Wales, you still do. It's shoe henge in here. Oh, they're on sale as well. Flip-flops. Or do you call them sandals? I don't know, but there's rows and rows of them. <laughs> oh, and more shoes. No, she didn't like anything in there. I've got a feeling this afternoon is going to be just going in all the shops in turn and not liking any of the shoes, but at least we'll have tried. So uh, we're just going to go around all the ones that possibly have shoes. Oh, I think I spied an H&M. H&M, is he? H&M might be a good bet. M&S probably do them. Next, we'll probably do them. Watch this space. We're in TK Maxx now. It's palatial in here. I kind of want him. How much is he? <laughs> Isabel's persuaded me. 89 euro. What's that in town? 89 pound? euros. Blink well, it. technically that says 89 yet. 89 yet. Hello, Elmo. Oh, Isabel's in love. I want Elmo. I don't know how much he is in pounds. It just has him in euros. I think he's too expensive. Oh, well, I have money. <laughs> just spent all of my money. If you're going to spend money, but have you seen the outfits in this row, though? I prefer Elmo. <laughs> no, this is pretty swanky. That is pretty good. Oh, I'd like to wear that to a gig, to be honest. That would surprise people, wouldn't it, if it turns up in that? Especially if it was a wedding or something. Elmo's so easy to hug. Look at he has the Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Look, it's a dragon woody cape thing. £35. Oof. Oh, but he's weighted perfectly, so it's just a perfect squeeze. We've been in HM. Loud music in there didn't film. We weren't in for very long. We shot down to the shoe section, said she didn't like anything. And now we're going to go into next. It's nice and cool in here, actually. Um, there were some in next that she liked. She's insisting they're too expensive. 40 quid, I would spend 40 quid on a pair of boots for her, but she's saying no, they're too expensive. But I think we probably will go back there and get them. But we're gonna have a look in M&S, but they're not gonna be cheaper in M&S, are they? There was a really nice pair that she liked, but they were 62, and that's, that's pushing it a bit even for me, that is. That was a no. We're going to River Island. Uh, my contingency is to get the ones in next, so. I think that's at least something positive. Oh, we're going home. We did not succeed in mission get shoes. I'm just, um, yes, that happened. <laughs> it's my fault. She wasn't going to get it. She's still got Christmas money left over and birthday money and some money that Ivy gave her as a reward for getting good grades in her exams as well. And she didn't want to spend it on something so frivolous but I just said look Isabel you're only young once you are allowed to actually buy something just because you're going to enjoy it so she went oh all right then <laughs> or something along those lines anyway yeah. and, uh, Elmo is now coming home with us <laughs> yes Elmo will have a good home Elmo will have a good home yes it's going to be very loved I think oh I can testify it's very sweaty and hot under this mask when I think of it, I've got a cautionary tale for you based on something that happened to me this morning. When I bought our bus tickets on the bus, I used my card, my debit card, 
which you can do on buses nowadays, which is great, because I used to hate fumbling for coins and having to have the exact change. But what happened was, you know, every so many times you need to re-enter your pin in order to use it. Well, it was that. That happened, and so it wouldn't accept it. Luckily, Izzy was with me, so I was able to use her card and then use my banking app to transfer the money back to her account again. But if I hadn't, I would have been stuffed because I didn't have any cash on me. So I'm just warning you, if you are in that position, you're totally reliant on the bus, your card working. Like here, in this one, anyway, this, I think it was a stagecoach bus. They didn't have a empty pin option. So there we are. It's quarter past eight in the evening now. My boyfriend is here and I am cooking him some dinner. He quite fancied what I quite often do myself for lunch, which I've never made for him before because I just thought he wouldn't find it substantial enough, but he is actually craving it. So I'm trying to do it. But the thing is, because I'm trying to fit so much more in the pan, it's taking much longer to cook. I've also boiled some beans as well from the garden because I've got so many of them. So that's gonna be our dinner. Oh, there's halloumi in there as well. Mm. My mouth is watering actually. I'm really looking forward to that. We're gonna get on with the rest of our evening now but if you've enjoyed today's video you know what to do to help me out a like really really does help the channel to grow and i really 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 appreciate it and if you're new here and would like to follow more of our story here in south wales do hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one bye